Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Casey James and welcome to my channel. Hopefully everyone's doing all right during this coronavirus situation. Today's video is about the Tiger King documentary and most importantly about the possible movie that's in the works about Joe Exotic's life. And I wanted to talk about what actors and actresses I would love to see in which roles that shown in the documentary. Now, there's already been speculation on some actors and actresses playing sp specific roles. This is my dream cast for this movie. So most of these actors probably will not be anywhere near the movie or won't be casted in these parts, but it's who I would like to see in the role. I'm going for actors who look the part, comedy actors, because it has to be a, an outrageous comedy. If you've watched a documentary, you'll know that there's some outrageous moments in, the, in Joe Exotic's life and even Carol Baskin's life. Starting off with the main man himself, Joe Exotic. Now, there's been a huge speculation on who's gonna play the role. I've heard that Edward Norton could be playing the role. I heard that Brad Pitt could be playing the role, but I wouldn't go in that direction. I feel like if Brad, Pitt played the role I just I'd probably just say see Brad Pitt and I wouldn't be able to kind of invest in the character but him in a lot of Quentin Tarantino movies he ha has been able to show that charisma there's also Edward Norton but I couldn't see him look the part I want someone who looks more the part for this 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 role and who's more of a comedic actor and that's why I would go with David Spade now, David Spade doesn't have a better IMDb than these other two actors. However, in terms of a comedic actor, he is one of the funniest I've seen. Uh, he's been in Grown Ups, he's been in Do Over, which is also a movie with Adam Sandler. So he does have uh, a lot of comedies that he's been in. And if you've seen David Spade and what he looks like, he looks the part 100%. He's a, a, an older actor as well. so it would make it easier, but that's who I would have playing Joe Exotic. Next up, we've got Carol Baskin. Now, apparently, um, I've heard speculation that they're looking at Kate McKinnon to play the role. If no one knows who Kate McKinnon is, she's the actress who's on the SNL. She played Hillary Clinton and she also played Justin Bieber. So she does definitely, has a lot of success playing other celebrities. However, I believe that she's just a bit too young for this role, especially if we were going to cast Howard Baskin, we'd have to cast a, a younger actor because them side by side, if it's a, a much older actor, then it just it wouldn't fit right. So for me personally, I would have Julianne Moore play this role. Now, if you don't know who Julianne Moore is, she is in Kingsman 2 and she plays Poppy and she's also in The Hunger Games and she's so good at playing that bad guy who's just, she thinks she's good and thinks she, that she's helping people and that's exactly what we need for Carol Baskin. I think that she may not look completely the role, but in terms of her, uh, the character that she played in the past, 100% can pull off Carol Baskin and has, uh, is closer to the age of Carol Baskin and just an incredible actress. So that's who I'd give that role to. In terms of the husband, Howard Baskin, I would give this to Jeff Goldblum. Now, Jeff is a little bit more tanned than the actual Howard Baskin. However, in terms of the look um, of, of this simp-like husband, I don't really want to say simp, but that's kind of who, that's kind of like what Howard Baskin is. Him side by side with Julianne Moore, the age will add up and it will look like a good couple in my opinion. Next up we got Doc Antill. Now a lot of people have said that he looks and has a similar look to Jeff Bridges and with Jeff Bridges he's an incredible actor and in terms of him playing the Big Lebowski like he could definitely pull off Doc Antill. However, I recently watched the True Jordy podcast and him himself said that he wants to be portrayed by Will Farrell, and I could not disagree with that more. I think Will Farrell is an incredible actor and if you want someone to pull off outrageous comedy, that's what you'll get with Will Farrell. Like he's been in so many comedies, obviously the Anchorman, Step Brothers, they, they stick out the most. 
and yeah, I wouldn't trust any other actor besides Will Ferrell to pull off uh, such an exceptional role. Next up, someone who plays a key role in the documentary of The Tiger King is Rick Kirkham, and I would love to see him be portrayed by Steve Buscemi. If you have seen how many movies Steve Buscemi is in, it's at least 200. Like, this guy has been in so many movies from Reservoir Dogs to, I mean, we mentioned it before, Grown Ups. I feel like he can do a comedic role or he can do a serious role. Someone I would definitely trust to give uh, a big role to. And uh, with Rick Kirkham, he feels like he is definitely uh, going to be a big part of this movie. So I would definitely give that part to Steve Buscemi. Next up we got Kelsey Safari. I hope that I'm pronouncing that right, but she's the girl who got her arm ripped off or bit off and then worked the very next day. So we have to have uh, an incredible badass actress portraying this woman. It's Michelle Rodriguez who is a part of the Fast and Furious franchise and she's a great actress can really look the part obviously she's a badass herself um, I've never been a huge fan of the Fast and Furious because she has such a experience being in those movies I feel like she can probably bring that into this movie obviously there's not going to be any, many cars in this movie and many action-packed thrillers uh, Michelle Rodriguez I would 100% give her the role all right next up we got Travis and John who are both uh, Joe Exotic's husbands um, that we see in the movie we see that he goes on to have another husband who we'll talk about in a minute now one person i heard that can possibly play the role of john is shia labeouf and i would love to see that um, but i also heard that apparently that uh, channing tatum could possibly play that role as well and if you've looked at travis shia labeouf looks like him as well like shia labeouf could portray both actors so for me personally, I would have Shia LaBeouf play Travis and then Channing Tatum play John, uh, two actors who I would 100% trust. I think the last big role Shy had was in Honey Boy where he portrayed his own dad, uh, which was incredible. I didn't actually get to see the movie, but I saw a lot of clips from it and it looked incredible. Uh, Channing Tatum as well, if you've seen him in comedies like 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, you know he's a hilarious actor and obviously very entertaining and talented. Next up we've got Jeff Lowe who's trying to take the zoo from Joe Exotic. We need someone who can play the bad guy. Now this one might be a bit of a weird one but I've actually given this to David Patrick Kelly. Now for those who don't know the name, uh, he's a very old actor um, who probably is too old for the role but in terms of his look he can definitely play the role and again great at playing a bad guy. He was the guy who was in the Warrior film um, and probably had most of the iconic lines in the Warriors. I just remember seeing when I saw Jeff Lowe's face he just looks like a, a young David Patrick Kelly. Uh, so maybe he is a bit too old for the role, but that's who I see portraying Jeff Lowe. Next up, we've got another John called John Reich, uh, who has a lot of resemblances to Brian Cranston. So I just give him the role. He's not a really big role in this documentary. However, in terms of the look, Brian Cranston fits it. Obviously, he's had some incredible roles, most importantly as Walter White. In Breaking Bad so I would 100% trust him. Next up we got two Eric's. We firstly got Eric Cowie and then we got Eric Good. In terms of Eric Cowie he's one of the employees under Joe Exotic and he kind of has this kind of mean attitude um, but he has this really long blonde hair and I really didn't know who to give the role to. A lot of people were comparing him to Macaulay Culkin when Macaulay Culkin was kind of having his controversy and whatnot with all the drugs and everything and had the long hair but I wouldn't give it to him now just because obviously he's cleaned up a little bit more. I was thinking of two actors 
Uh, the first person is the person who plays Bronn in the Game of Thrones. And I thought he looked the part, but I'm actually just going to give it to Peter Stormare, who looks the part as well. And uh, similar to the guy who plays Bronn, old guy who has long hair, and I could 100% see him fit the role. His face, um, those two look very alike. Next up we have Eric Good, who has so many resemblances to Steve Coogan. And again, Steve Coogan, great comedic actor. Again, we're trying to go for more comedic actors. Next up, Joshua Dial. Now, Joshua Dial is kind of this uh, chubbier guy. I think he's one of the employees as well. But I saw that a lot of people were saying he resembled Jonah Hill. I couldn't really see um, the, the resemblance, but then I did think that Jonah Hill was a very talented actor. Obviously, we've seen Jonah Hill go from different kind of body types. Still, I do think that he could easily play this role, uh, especially because of the comedies that he's been in. He has so many funny movies out there. Next up, we've got Lauren Lowe, who is Jeff Lowe's wife, and she's a younger ginger actress who's very beautiful uh, so I instantly went to Karen Gillan uh, who is in a lot of the Marvel movies uh, in particular obviously Guardians of the Galaxy but she's also in the Jumanji films as well as uh, Ruby Roundhouse uh, fairly young as well so she definitely fit the role and it would definitely look uh, right because their relationship it is an older man and uh, a younger woman so to have that dynamic as well that would work perfectly. Next up we got Joe Exotic's current husband in Dylan and Dylan was giving me a lot of vibes of Taron Egerton and Taron Egerton's obviously played other gay roles obviously being Rocket Man but he also played kind of a smallish role in Legend as uh, Ronnie Craze boyfriend so I think I would 100% trust him in the role the dynamic of having an older actor and a younger actor in a relationship that works perfectly especially because that's what um, we see in the documentary so we've got to have that age dynamic and again uh, a fairly comedic actor obviously he's been in the Kingsman so uh, he definitely has comedic timing last but not least we've got Alan Glover who is the man that Joe Exotic pays to kill Carol Baskin so this has to be portrayed by someone who can be uh, a real evil character he's a bold guy who definitely has a mean look to him and we've got to have an actor who really does have that like that almost like that biker mentality so I would give the role to Michael Rooker now Michael Rooker um, most people will know him for being in The Walking Dead, but uh, newer and younger people might know him for being in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Exceptional actor and really good at playing a bad guy. Obviously in Guardians of the Galaxy you see that he's got this, this nice side of him. And we do hear that uh, Alan Glover does backstab Joe Exotic um, after like saying to him the police that he he was trying to um pay me to kill pa carol baskin so we kind of need that a little bit of sympathy but also uh, some backstabbing so we definitely have to have a mix of both but again we do have to have an actor who has that mean look to him and michael rooker definitely has that so that's my casting of who i'd have in the new joe exotic tiger king film Honestly, I cannot wait to see this movie. Obviously, if they, they base a lot of it off the documentary, a lot of us will know what how it will unfold, but I'm hoping to see maybe a few new moments in there. Uh, I feel like the, the problem with a movie and a documentary, a documentary feels like it sticks to it 100%, the story 100%, it doesn't exaggerate at all. But with a movie, it does kind of have to have uh, a few twists and turns chucked in there so hopefully they don't make it too cinematic and make sure that they tell the story right 
anyway that's my casting of who I'd have in the Tiger King film hopefully you enjoyed the video peace